So why Arizona? Why did I come all the way across the country to this one space? Well, engineering is a field where you take the theoretical and you apply it to the physical world. Nobody solves engineering problems just because. There's always a purpose to them. If you're working on a project, it's very simple to use simulations and say, oh, that's a cool thing. It's a neat little animation you did there. But when you have a physical entity moving around in front of people, that's something that they take serious. Hello, my name is PJ Morley and I worked on the Rasta Jaws project. Okay. The robotic operating system is an open source platform. It's used by people all over the world and then there's a lot of access to it. Jaws, on the other hand, is a Department of Defense standard. And while it's pretty robust, it's not very common. The benefit to adding ROS compatibility to a Jaws compliant system is that we get to use a lot of versatile applications that have already been developed. So that saves time, effort, and it allows the workers on the system to focus on higher level ideas instead of the low level compatibility. One solution we came up with to combine these two operating systems was to form what's called a bridge node. Essentially, we'd have a JAWS compliant node that was also capable of subscribing and publishing to and from ROS topics. In order for this solution to be effective, we need to generate a new bridge for each kind of message that the system could be handling. So my part in this project was to design and implement a code generator that was capable of manufacturing bridges given a specific set of inputs. So with this new ability, every JAWS compliant system now has access to things like G-mapping, Gazebo, Arvid. There's a huge number of packages that people all around the world are already working to develop. And so people working within this structured architecture don't need to reinvent the wheel, so to say. Generating a bridge is a very simple process. First, the generator receives a description of the message definitions for each operating system and the conversion mapping between those two. The program then takes the loaded parameters and writes the code needed for extracting the necessary elements from each message case it's given. It then outputs a new component in a format that can be added to an existing JAWS project folder. 